so first thing we should do is ask grandma what is it please tell grandma what's troubling you and where's the real is she still playing outside with the goals uh yeah that's exactly what she's doing so let's get the shield where's the shield dude the the shield was right here before where did it go where did the shield go grandma what did you have to do with this the one time I actually need something. You need to die it? What is it, Grandma? Can I have the shield, please? Is this what you're looking for? Aww. Take it with you. Yes! We get the shield! The hero shield, the legendary seal shield said to have been used by the hero himself, although it looked absolutely nothing like this. Oh no, Grandma. I guess it's true. The real really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take a sweet young child? I know, it's terrible. That's why I'm going to save her. Don't be sad, Grandma. But yes, we are going on a big, magical, epic, super awesome quest to save our little sister from whatever the hell took her. So now that we have our sword and our shield, by the way, you can, I think you can bar to defend. As long as you have your sword out, otherwise if you put it away, or as crouch. But we'll get into those mechanics shortly. So now that we have all of our stuff, talk to you. Yes, we are ready to go! It took us 30 minutes to get this far. Wow. So in 30 minutes, we've gone from it's your birthday to we have to go on an epic quest to save our young sister. With pirates! Funny how things can kind of change on a dime in Zelda games like this, but, you know, that's how things are. Good luck! Good luck, Final! Use a tissue there, buddy. Bye, guys. Oh no, I left my clothes there! I don't want to be dressed like this for the rest of the game! No, my clothes! Grandma! Send me more clothes! Please! More clothes! I don't want to wear these for the rest of the game! Ugh, how much longer do you go on like this, do you think? Do you have an estimate? I'm really inconsistent with these voices. Are you sure you shouldn't be just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Uh, I don't know. I really want to go back and get some more clothing. So, we are finally on the pirate ship, and I've never actually explored this place to see what it looks like. So Gonzo is heading up the helm here. He tells us we need to go find Nico. I wanted to look around here to see if we can actually see any of the islands out there. I didn't expect that we would, because they don't really specify where you are in the Great Sea right now. But normally when we're sailing around, we'd be able to see a whole bunch of different islands that'll tell us where we are. Here's a pirate whose name I don't know. Hmm. Can head up to the crow's nest over here. Here's a little nerd dude. Yeah, I hope you guys don't mind my exploring here a little bit. I never bothered to explore. That's something I like to do whenever I climb up the ladder is just whirl around the camera until I get sick. We. Ah, oh, good old crow's nest. Boy, you look a little young to be having such a long... What do you call those, anyway? I forget that sort of hairstyle where you have all that overgrown facial hair. But we can look out at the Great Sea, and there's really nothing to see right now except for water. So let's head all the way back down. Luckily we can't hurt ourselves because we'd have no way of recovering health. I'm not sure you can actually die here. I'd be surprised if you could. So inside the pirate ship there's 
a pirate here guarding Tetra's quarters. We can't see anything in there. Not even they can go in. Just Tetra. You gotta wonder, though. Have they ever tried to go in and see for themselves what's there? Oh, well, now. Hi there, Swabby. Today, <laughs> I'm your superior amigo, and I promise to go easy on you, so don't say that. Okay? I sound just like everybody else that really trying to try voice acting today. So get ready! This is a doozy of a trial, and I'm going to teach you how to do basic platforming in this game. So. This is a switch. Step on it, and something cool will happen. That is the easy part. You have to actually walk on the switch to activate it, like so. And because I'm such a fat ass, I weighed it down, and all the platforms come up. And now, the hard part is you actually have to jump without a jump button. That's right, there's no jump button in this game. You actually have to run off the edge. And just when you think you're going to fall off and die, automatic jump saves you. And a new mechanic in Wind Waker is that you can swing from ropes like this. And you can swing back and forth. And press A to let go and jump off. And then the hardest part is the part that I will not tell you how I did because it is super magic. Is that you can jump magically by teleporting all the way to this ending platform over here out of nowhere like so. So that's basically it. We're going to have to spend a year trying this. A year. I did not anticipate it taking this long. So something you don't need to do is you can come down here, hit the switch all the way on the left side, and that will bring this stuff down. It will reset the timer. And now we can try it for ourselves. And I've never actually failed this. I don't intend to fail it, but I haven't played this game in a while, so I may very well fail it. Here, rope mechanic. Uh, and what I like to do here is just try to swing to the next rope. Because, no, go down. Swing back and forth. Usually doing this three times will give you enough momentum from what I recall. So there we go. Stop yourself with R. Go all the way down. One swing. Two swings. And on the third swing, we will make our jump. There we go. It doesn't always look like you'll make the jump. You usually do. So let's try our best not to fail here. I could probably go with two. I'm not going to. I'm going to go with three. There we go. And, voila, line yourself up. I don't know why that last platform is there. Maybe it's just there for Nico. Nico, whatever his name is. One. Yeah, I don't need the platforms. I'm on the rope. One. Two. Three. Hello. I made it even though the platforms were down. Because I'm awesome. Proud to have me as our underling. Hey, Kit, want to see what's in the back? I'm going to give you a super awesome war eyes, but you have to promise not to tell anybody. Okay, Kit, I'm going to take you all the way to the back, and I'm going to give you something really, really cool before somebody comes. But make sure you get it before they come, otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble. So I wonder what's in this big chest. I'm probably going to be doing rubbing my hands together like this because I watch too much of the stuns of this. Bait! Spoils bag! Are you sure that's not an enemy that I can slice up with my sword? It looks really scary. But we can hold eight different types of things that are going to be spoils from enemies. More on that later when we actually encounter things that are worth collecting in this bag. But whenever you get that, we arrive at the Forsaken Fortress. So we can just head up there. There should be nothing in the spoils bag. I don't know why they would put anything there. So head all the way out here. The guy is still blocking our way, so we can't go to see what's in Tetra's place. But you can sort of get a glimpse of some of the stuff that's in there. Look like wood carvings or something. Can you actually see what's in there? I mean, that looks like the Triforce, doesn't it? Triforce on a map like that. We'll be encountering something very similar to that later. Most of you who played this game before know what it is. But I really like how they tied this game into the previous games, like Ocarina of Time. So it looks like we've got to head all the way up to the Crow's Nest to talk to Tetra, which is annoying. 
but I guess that's the only way to be able to see Forsaken Fortress, which is right there. You can see, they've even got a crow's nest and everything over there. Searchlights, and we're actually hiding behind a rock so they don't see us, although I don't know why they wouldn't be able to see us, because they could see the pirate's flag right there. What were you doing down there with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? No, of course not. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Yeah, right there. I love that they have the eye gestures in this game. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago there used to be a hideout for no good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. And that's why we're sending you there. Ah, I knew it! Look! Over there! The flock of seagulls! By that window! Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? Yeah, uh, my little sister has a seagull fetish. I bet you'll anything that's where the place... How did you know anything about Aril and the seagulls? I'm supposed to know that. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? Uh-oh. I know that look. Oh, that's so priceless. They tied him up inside a barrel and they're gonna catapult him to the fortress. I love this. It's the only place we can get there. Pirates do this all the time and there'll be a piece of cake. Did you adjust for the wind? Do you have the wind waker? Can you change the direction of the wind for me? Please take it into account when you launch me otherwise. If you miss, <laughs> then I might. I don't think they care. Oh my god! My sword! No! Splish. Super. But at least we're still alive. Forsaken Fortress finally get into some real game here. We don't have our sword, so what the hell are we supposed to do? We just landed in our enemy's base and we don't have a sword. Uh, what the hell is that? Sir landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize because my aim was off. I <laughs> looked on your face, priceless. What the hell? Is that a rock? I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're going. I can see what you're doing through the stone. Is that why you slipped it in my pants? So we can look at the quest data screen. It's I don't know why they even bother having it there other than to show you that you have it. But occasionally Tetra's going to stop us with that stone and she'll have something to say. So up here, searchlights. You don't want to get caught by the searchlights, although you might want to get caught by the searchlights. You can go about this two different ways. I'm going to explore the first floor a little bit and see if we can get the piece apart before we do anything. But when these searchlights come over you, please, for the love of God, stop so they don't notice you. If a moving barrel stays underneath the searchlights, they will spot you. And they will notice something is fishy. If you're feeling really, really greedy, you could go for those both of those red rupees, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to head straight to the door. So, in we go! First floor of the Forsaken Fortress.